this right here, my last cigarette. I'm done. I'm done with the vape. I'm done with the cigarette. I'm done with it all. Completely done. The thing I would say is when you grow up, you tend to get told that the world is the way it is and your life is just to live your life inside the world. Try not to bash into the walls too much. Uh, try to have a nice family life, uh, have fun, save a little money. That's a very limited life. Life can be much broader once you discover one simple fact and that is everything around you that you call life was made up by people that were no smarter than you. All right, let's go over some of the projects we got going on. This is the helmet we're airbrushing. I gotta pull it up. I gotta finish fixing the teeth. I got some crazy stuff I didn't like about those. Got some cool intakes up on the top. Gonna be spouting some fire and some flames. Got some really cool scales and then some real cool exhaust pipes. Gonna be shooting some fire. Another project we got going on, these three plastic bodies right here for RC cars. Now these two, they go to a set of brothers that were uh, Daniel's nephews. And uh, Daniel's not around anymore. This is one I'm doing for his dad. It's just going to be one that's like a bench setter. But you see these drawings right here? Those drawings are the only art that I have ever found for my best friend. Because he never drew. So I'm pretty sure I was supposed to airbrush this one. This is the one he was talking about. And he was, was this a pretty complex design. Something he couldn't do. It actually just kind of makes my heart bend a little bit when I pull it out. He drew that. That's one of his scribbles. And then over here, we have a piece for Doc. That's just something I got to finish up. I'm going to put a guitar on there and a few other things. He's a friend I've had for many years. This painting back here is for another special friend, Don. Don Smith. You'll see the power by DSD. Ding! And that's, uh, that's that guy. He's a super special guy. Designs uh, websites, SEO. There's a lot of amazing stuff with a computer that I don't fully understand. Of course, you see the board in the back. This is one that I'm going to put up for sale when we're done. I'll take you over and let's take a look at Grace. And Grace is a bike I've been working on for years. <laughs> She's got three crosses on her. There's one cross here. There's a cross on the upper fairing that I made. And there's one back here on the tail section. Here's where we had the bike parts. You can see there's the third cross right there. And these are all little panels where the lightning and fire will come out of those like it's been raised. So like the panel's been distressed like it's pushing out like because you can't hold back God's love. And it's God's grace. That's why the bike is named God's grace. They're named after grace. Because it'll have the like, lightning coming out of here. And it'll be exuding lightning from that which carries into those. And then on the tailgate or on the rear fender it'll actually go into it. So it'll like. So on here it'll go. Everything will just kind of go in and this will just be this pit of blackness. This girl over here, we got to finish up the wiring on. It's got a GM1 wire on it and an HEI distributor now and a 302. So that means we should have good ignition and easy wiring. She has some wiring gremlins. This RC truck right here, it's hard to tell, but this is me and it. This thing's giant. See, my hand, that's how big this thing is. I got giant hands. My hands are huge. All right, for reference, this is a yardstick. This is over a yard. That is three foot of RC that Daniel built. He only drove this thing once for about 20 minutes. I've got the fear in me when I go to run this thing. I don't know. It's not because I'm afraid of driving it. It's the fact he built it. This is one of the things he played with about six days before he killed himself. And that just makes me burn inside. Like I just, I want to play with it, but at the same time I don't. This thing's got a monster engine in it. I mean, look at the size of the pipe. It's got like skulls and crossbones on the engine and freaking suspension on this thing. It's just ridiculous. First video I ever saw of this thing was it jumping, one of these things jumping a house. Like that thing's like a trophy truck. I mean, it's got full on shocks, all kinds of stuff. I'm honestly afraid to play with it just because I know that he played with it and I don't want to break my friend's toy. I know I can fix it easy. I just, it's weird. Let's go over the other stuff I got to do. So there you see the masterful green screen. That's how we make all the cool stuff. Some people do it! Says, while you're gonna wake Gus! up and work hard at it! Do it! Oh, there's a dinosaur! Don't forget to subscribe and click that Ding. bell. Ah. So we got three of these signs right here. This one right here, I'm going to do some practice with Dustin with. Probably this one's going to become the Casey's Custom sign. And that's probably going to be the one for Fakara. They'll say Fakara Classics. And then these guys over here will probably get sprayed tonight or tomorrow. Um, these are parts for a Chevy pickup. Just literally shooting them black. Just something simple for a great friend who's helped me out a ton. Oh, almost dropped it. Those are all the things we got to do to get out of here. Those are the things we're working on. We've got a few more things on the list. You can see the goal list back behind me. 
all those things are things we're working on to accomplish where we want to get and taking care of those things as you can see i got a lot of stuff on the list the wife's already going to be coming back from england this month so just trying to hump on all this stuff so we can hit on the road we're going to go head back and get that stuff to cody real quick i gotta run to the doctor and then i'm going to head back here and you and i will get back there some airbrushing got a call from the doctor about the stuff on my nose it's somewhere between a wart and cancer that just seemed confusing to me because those seem like completely different things like one's cancer and one is a wart like how can you be, be between those two like i don't know i'm headed back to grab scabby and uh then i'm gonna get back to airbrushing so i'm gonna get back to the board so i'll show you guys some of that here in a bit and we're back here and we're getting ready to airbrush Let's get to it. Ding. All right. 